almost a quarter of Turkey's population live in rural areas. The poverty rate in rural areas is four times higher than in urban areas. Inequitable development is witnessed most in rural areas. These facts motivated the Özyen Foundation to address the issue of rural poverty and demonstrate a viable model of development embracing all aspects of rural life. The villages in which the Özyen Foundation implements its rural development program constitute the poorest villages of the country. The primary objective of the Rural Development Programme is to improve the economic prospects of the approximately 4,000 people who live in the project villages. In order to strengthen economic capacity and create sustainable sources of income in the long term, walnut, cherry and apple orchards spanning 700 decades of land were created. Meyvecilik bizim havzada vakfın tabii ki katkılarıyla baya gelişti diyebiliriz. Bazen e Kendim bile heyecanlanıyorum. 200 animal barns were disinfected and modernized. Training on how to combat animal diseases were provided and artificial insemination of farm animals was demonstrated. A milk collection center with a capacity of two tons was built. Sütümü sağdığım gibi götüreceğim, tankere boşaltacağım, faturamı alacağım, ay başına gidip paramı alacağım. Çok güzel bir şey. Silage and seed planting equipment was purchased with support of Ministry of Agriculture. To organize and strengthen the local economic activities, the Kavar Agricultural Development Cooperative, embracing five villages, was founded by the village communities. Through all these activities, the goal is, by 2013, to double the average monthly income per person in Kavar, which was 102 Turkish Lira in 2008, and to triple this amount by the year 2020. The local government, civil society and the villages themselves have partnered to improve the physical infrastructure of the villages and invested most in education, building a 10-classroom primary school two kindergartens, two playgrounds, one dormitory for teachers and five village community centres for social activities. The programme emphasises the importance of multi-stakeholder partnerships and a wide range of public, private and civil society institutions have participated in the activities. Poverty alleviation efforts must address social development as much as economic development. The Özyen Foundation has prioritized the needs of women, youth and children through its investments in the areas of education, health and culture. Scholarships for university students were provided as well as computer training and university preparation courses for youth. Those who had dropped out of school were registered in remedial and distance learning programs. For women and children, medical and dental screenings were provided. Toy libraries for children established and spring and summer festivals were organised to promote community engagement. Strengthening the economic and social capacity of women is one of the most important goals of the programme. With the support of the Mother Child Education Foundation, Women in the villages have participated in literacy classes and women's support trainings. Through various economic activities such as handicrafts production, beekeeping and decorative flower production, the programme has enabled women to not only earn an income but lead these initiatives themselves. Başlangıca bakıldığı zaman şimdi kendimi bir profesör gibi hissediyorum. Çok şey öğrendik gerçekten. Ben kendime daha çok güveniyorum ve daha iyi olacağını büyütebileceğime inanıyorum. The Özyen Foundation has integrated environmental protection and the sustainable use of natural resources in all its activities in rural communities. 
water ducks have been built in grazing lands and shepherds have been trained in pasture land protection and reformation. Practical workshops with children to increase environmental awareness, tree planting and seed festivals have ensured the transfer of this mindfulness to future generations. It is our hope that these efforts will improve the lives of people and contribute to thriving rural communities that is a right for all.